Hi, my name is Jaden. Hi, my name is Avandra. Hi, my name is Deontay. Hi, I'm Dejanaya. Hi, I'm Dan. Hi, my name is Grady, and together we are Money's Management. Do you believe that money can truly buy happiness? Is everything you do influenced by how much money you can make from it? Money is the root of all evil, but at the same time, money rules the world. Knowing how to manage, make, and invest money is pivotal for you to become successful in life. We as college students must become more aware of what we can do, should do, and could have done to be set up properly financially for post-graduation. In the world today, there are young adults who put themselves in financial mis mishaps quickly, and you do not properly set themselves up to be financially stable for the future. According to Forbes advising, the problem with building credit from scratch is that there is often hard to find people who want to deal with people who qualify for financing. Finding a lender that is willing to take a chance on you can be a challenge. Today we will be telling you how to manage money, build, and keep your credit up. The first points will be what is credit, what are the types of credit, and why we all need it. Jaden will be starting us off with this topic. The first topic we'll be discussing is credit. Credit is the ability to borrow or access goods or services. As a credit user, you need to understand that you need to pay back the money to the service you got it from. There are many types of credit, but the two most common types of credit are installment loans and revolving credit. With revolving credit, it is a set amount of credit that has a limit, and you can also use it as long as you want, as long as you keep on, you stay in that limit. And installment loans are used for student loans. Credit is essential for things that you cannot afford, such as houses, cars, or starting a business. For example, you may use an auto loan to help you buy a new car. But that being said, we're going to talk about how to build credit, and Darren and Dre will be discussing the next topic. When you see it, imagine having everything you could possibly want. All of the most recent shoes, clothing, and even automobiles. However, you don't have enough to take care of the important things such as your bills. We should learn how to manage our money and keep track of how much we spend on a daily basis as we get older. This is known as a budget. A budget can be defined as having a spending limit and having the rest of your money for more important things. Having the latest material or nice things is something we all desire, but it's something we don't need. Managing how you spend it should be an even greater desire. How you spend your money affects your credit score and the amount of debt you end up carrying. According to www.thebalance.com, if you're having trouble with money management issues such as living from paycheck to paycheck, despite making more than enough money, there are many solutions available. Today, we have talked about sharing some money management tips with you. Making a budget to manage your money is the simplest way to do so. If done correctly, when we see something, our goal is to obtain whatever it is that we see. In summary, many people around the world may be struggling to manage their money because they engage in the wrong type of spending or spend too much of it. First and foremost, you should create a budget. Many people do not budget because they do not want to go through what they perceive to be a tedious process of listing expenses, adding up numbers, and ensuring that everything is in order. Then, stick to that budget. If you let your budget accumulate until dusk, it will be useless. It should be updated as you pay bills and spend money on other monthly expenses. Set a limit for money that you don't use for budget. Bridget, excuse me. Today I'll be giving you three areas where credit is important, why it is important, and good credit benefits. According to Capital One Credit Company, knowing your credit will be assessed can give you an idea of how critical it is. Here are five situ three situations in which your credit may be used. Number one is credit cards. The card user may run a credit check when you apply for a credit card. Each organization has its own credit policies. However, having high credit may provide you with more possibilities. If you're approved, having good credit may also qualify you for benefits such as bigger credit limits and a cheaper annual percentage rate, which is known as APR. Number two is mortgages and auto loans. Credit also plays a role when you're trying to do things like buy a home or finance a car. Having good credit may help you qualify to borrow and borrow at a lower interest rate. At in interest rates are important because the higher your rate, the more you could end up paying over the life of the loan. Consider a recent average for a 30-year, 200,000 fixed rate mortgage. 
According to figures from FICO, a commonly used credit scoring company, payments can vary widely. For example, FICO offers these two estimates. A person with a 650 credit score, which FICO classifies as FAIR, would have a 3.566% APR and a $908 monthly payment. A person with a 650 credit score, which FICO classifies as good, would have a 3.136% APR and an 860 monthly payment. That 48 difference might not seem like much, but over the course of the loan, it could add up to more than $17,000. And that's starting from a 20 point difference in credit scores. As credit scores continue getting higher, the monthly payments could go down even more, making the difference in total payments go up. Lastly is housing applications. The landlord may investigate your credit history as well as your criminal and rental histories when you apply for a lease to rent an apartment or a house. Landlords frequently ask your permission to conduct screens and they may do so in predicting the type of renter you will be. Even if your credit isn't ideal, you might be able to rent. However, if a landlord receives numerous applications, they may choose to rent to someone else instead. Alternatively, you may be required to pay a higher security deposit or pay a few months rent in advance. When it comes to budgeting, make sure you're responsible and educated about credit, meaning paying your bills on time. Building and sustaining credit requires making at least a minimum payment on a credit card. With that being said, there are multiple ways and different types of budgeting. These ways can well be a threat to your life. The first way is the 50-30-20% rule. 50% of your money goes to goes towards needs, 30% goes towards wants, and 20% goes towards the bills. Or you can do the 80, 20, 30, 70, 60, 40, and lastly, 50% and 50%. All depending on a person's lifestyle and spending habits. In incremental budgeting is a budget that goes off of the previous numbers as a baseline for the current year. Active based budgeting is a budget focused on the overall end result that the, that the business wants to achieve. They look at the goal and ask what may we do to get out to our goal. Value proposition budgeting. This is this is where they look at each line of item or budget category and ask the question, why are we spending the money and what value does it provide to our customers and employers? To, to sustain good credit, you must always, always pay every bill and loans on time, every time. Don't max out your credit and keep all credit cards for your credit history and keep them on file. This is very essential because your payment history accounts for 35% of your credit score. Be organized and keep track of your credit report and report any trouble. This is essential because errors on your report tend to always happen. Use credit boosting services to slightly help boost your credit. <clears throat> Pay your bills on time. Building and sustaining credit means making at least the minimum payment on a credit card or installment loan. Late payments can linger on your credit report for up to seven years and can have an impact on your credit score during that period. Consider setting up auto pay or making reminders for yourself to ensure that you never miss a payment. To develop credit, use credit cards by strictly sticking to your routine. Minor costs like utility and phone bills can avoid getting into debt while improving credit. Mm -hmm. To prevent paying interest and maintaining a balance, pay off your bill in full every month. <clears throat> I'll say this, that when opening a lot of different accounts in a short period of time, this is the quickest way for you to get bad credit because it can be difficult to manage for most people and it's completely unnecessary. Keep your old credit card accounts open because they can help you build your credit. Your payment history has the greatest influence on your credit score. Payments for credit cards and loans that are more than 30 days late are reported to credit bureaus and reflected in your credit score. Once the late payment appears on your credit report, 
your credit score will almost certainly suffer. Another important fact in your credit score is the amount of available credit you're using or your credit utilization ratio. It comes as a surprise to many people, but if you make a big purchase on your credit card one month, you could see a credit score drop even if you pay the balance in full on your due date. This happens because credit card issuers typically report the credit card balance as the last day or on the last day of the billing cycle. The balance on your credit card statement is often the balance that appears on your credit report. In conclusion, the purpose of this lecture was to educate you on money management and how to save your money for the future. This is important because in numerous situations today, young adults often, find, often put themselves in financial mishaps or do not adequately set themselves up to be stable for the long term. However, money management and credit can help with those mishaps by helping accommodate wealth, giving you a clear picture of your financial situation and how you can prevent pointless spending. With credit, there are so many different opportunities that will upgrade students slash young adults, young adults' lives in the long term. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.